Let's talk about something a lot of us experience but rarely address openly, and that's the fear of burdening others. Hey leaders, Francois here with another video on the challenges CEO and business owners silently face. See, whether you're a CEO, a leader, or just someone's navigating life's challenges, the fear of being a burden can often keep us silent when we need help the most. So today, we're going to dive into two key questions. First one, how can we avoid burdening others and what makes someone feel like a burden? Let's start with the last question. What causes someone to feel like a burden? See, this feeling often stems from a mix of doubts and insecurities. Those inner voices that we all have telling us that your challenges, frustrations, or even dreams are too much for others to handle. It's easy to feel isolated, especially when we're in leadership roles and positions, like I said, CEO, where you're expected to have all the answers. Yes, people expect you to have all the answers. And you might fear that opening up will make you look weak or vulnerable. And for some, there's an underlying worry that sharing these feelings could like literally push people away. But here's the truth. Keeping everything bottled up does not solve the problem. In fact, it often makes you feel even more alone. And so the weight of your unspoken frustrations can cloud your judgment, hold back your potential, and stop you from seeing the greatness that already lies within you. It's a fact. How do we avoid burdening others while still getting the support we need? It's important to recognize that not everyone or should bear the weight of their challenges. But that doesn't mean that you shouldn't open up either. It's about finding the right person to share it with. A mentor, a coach, someone who can help you navigate those doubts without judgments. This is where having a confidential conversation comes in. When you find the right space, someone who understands your journey and can add their wisdom to yours, something powerful happens. Those doubts and insecurities, they lose their grip. You gain clarity. You start seeing the solutions that were hidden behind and beneath the surface of your worries. And most importantly, you stop feeling like a burden because the process of opening up becomes empowering instead of draining. Remember this, you're not a burden. We all have moments of uncertainty, but they don't define us. When you let go, of the fear of being a burden, you basically allow yourself to be supported in a way that helps you shine even brighter in your business and in your life and in your leadership. If you've been holding back, afraid to share your struggles, know that you don't have to carry that weight alone. By tackling and talking to someone who gets it, who knows how to help you unlock your potential, you'll actually find that it's not about burdening others, it's about empowering yourself. So, thanks for watching, and remember, the answers are already within you. Sometimes you just need the right conversation to bring them out. That's why I'm here for you. We're not meeting by accident, so reach out and let's start a confidential conversation.